what is up guys lazy boy here and today I have a fantastic video for you guys um, I haven't uploaded a couple of videos in a while I've been trying to find some content to actually put in uh, onto my channel for your guys's entertainment and of course for the information as you see I'm rocking that beautiful racing gear from SRL so um, what do you see that the air around you crackles and burns did you see that <laughs> <clears throat> so anyways guys this is macho he's one of my awesome awesome viewers he decided to help me with this video macho how are you good how are y'all pretty good yeah. man pretty good so guys there's been a lot of controversy around whether it's better to have rifled over explosive rounds now as you can see i have a god roll whale with the most stability possible besides perfect balance it pretty much has the same stability um with luck in the chamber and explosive rounds so the test is is to see whether it's better to have range over an area of effect damage so let's just test that real quick so i'm just going to do normal body shots just to start I, as you can see there right on the left hand side of where i'm shooting it does 57 Okay, so that's four body shots, is the same as a Mita. So now, let's switch to explosive rounds, and see what damage we come up with then. So 29 and 29, so that's 58 damage. So you get a plus one per shot with um, explosive rounds. I'm just showing you guys the damage so far. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do, is we're going to do the same thing but with precision shots just to just to show you guys so you see 86 damage per shot as you would know if you use a palindrome which most of you probably do now here you do 57 plus 29 so that's 80 what 50, hold on, 57 to 29 guys I'm so retarded right now um, so 20 so 20 and 50 is 70 and then 7 and 9, so that's 50 or 80, 80 what? Macho, what is that? I'm so retarded right uh, now. <laughs> 80. What is it, 87 damage? Or no? God, what is that? Hold on. 7-7 seven, seven is 14, okay. so 16, so you're doing the same damage. All right, I got it. I got it. Okay, <laughs> guys. So sorry for the for the ridiculousness right there. It's like four in the morning where I am. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. But yeah, it does 86 damage. But here's where it gets interesting. Now let me put on. I'm just gonna put on lightweight. Now go ahead and stand up against the wall over there, right behind you, right on that one. I got you. So what I'm gonna test. See, right here is actually it's way way out as you can see it only does 65 here but I'm gonna go as far back as I can get where I'm doing the least amount of damage <clears throat> so let's see if I can there go 29 let's see if I can get any worse than that with a, a headshot ah I, I, I can't all right so we'll just do <clears throat> we'll just do 29 okay oh yeah 19 so yeah actually this is the th that's the lowest range possible for my hand cannon now if you put on explosive rounds something interesting happens 19 and 29 okay or wait that was that was actually a luck a luck round hold on oh my goodness what why is it am I there we go 19 and 29 so 19 and 29 so that's 48 damage instead of just 19 right. how freaking sweet is that guys so instead of doing just 19 damage in the body you're doing hold on you're doing 39 damage to the body so realistically it's better to have explosive rounds over range now i know well, that 
I know, ain't it? I know, like, I, I know for you guys that are watching this, I know you guys think that, oh, yeah, I'd rather have range over explosive rounds. Well, right there is the proof, guys. You do more damage when you have explosive rounds because the, the area of effect damage, the explosive round part, that one doesn't diminish in any type of way. There's no damage diminish or anything. So it still does your normal round damage almost. To where whenever he's all the way back there, it does 19. And as you saw, go ahead, yep, go ahead and hop back there real quick. So it does 19 damage without explosive rounds. And I'll just I'll just show you guys that again real quick, just so you can see. So right there is body, 19 damage. Okay. Now let me put back on explosive rounds. <clears throat> and I'll show you guys. Right right there. Nine, 10 plus 29. So it's better to have explosive rounds than range. It really is. You know, Cody, what he asked me to do is I personally thought range was going to win. I know, you know, I did too. But no, explosive rounds wins in damage. <clears throat> now up close, it's actually same. good because you can go ahead and hide behind that crate right there. I just want to show him something real quick. The good thing about explosive rounds is you can shoot around corners, as you saw there, and I, I can still hit him. And that's actually good if he if a guy has a little bit of health left and he's right around the corner, you can just sit there and shoot the ground and kill him if you can get enough rounds to register. But yeah, you can. it's actually better, guys, to have explosive rounds than rifled barrel on a hand cannon. So me personally, what I would do is I would scrap a palindrome that you have rifled barreled on. I'd scrap that and get the whale. Because the whale, not only does it have more stability than a palindrome with rifle barrel on it, it has the same reload speed, but you're getting, ex you're getting the explosive rounds part, and you're having almost the same range as a, as a palindrome with small bore on it. It is literally almost identical. So those of you that have palindromes with rifle barrel... I would just scrap it and get a hand cannon with explosive rounds and small bar on it. So anyways guys, that will conclude the video. If you found this awesomely informative or it's something that you've questioned for a long time and didn't know, well there there it is. There's your there's your answer. Wow. Wow, really? Perfect. You know, I wasn't Perfect. done talking, sir. <laughs> But yeah, there's your guys' definitive answer of whether it's better to have range over explosive rounds. So yeah, there you go. Um, guys, if you like the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you want to support the video, just leave a like and a comment. And as always, guys, have a good day.